Hi Pisces, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we'll be getting you some messages. Let's see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides would like to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing, so take a deep breath with me. You ready? Here we go. All right, Pisces, we're going to dive in, get your cards. Page of Wands, Five of Cups, The Fool, The Emperor, Five of Swords. All right, Pisces, what's going on here? All right, so it looks like there's something you're upset over something you're crying you're crying over spilt milk <laughs> why uh have you fought with somebody are you fighting with somebody because there is conflict here with that five of swords um you know what i'm also picking out pisces is there there might be a little bit of stubbornness here a little bit of bullheadedness i'm feeling a hard head um as my dad would say gabados he was Italian. That means hard head in Italian. Well, I think it does anyway. At least that's what he told me it meant. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you're being a little stubborn here about something. So you're, you're fighting over something with somebody, but you're kind of upset over it. You're upset over the loss. I don't know. I, I think you're, I think you, you are in, stepping into the emperor energy where you're being a little uh, my way or the highway, but I feel like it's kind of like a make, uh, fake it till you make it type situation where you're like, I'm going to show everybody I'm the alpha. I can do what I want. I don't care what they think. I don't care if they don't agree with me. This is the way I'm doing it. But at the same time, you're upset you're feeling the loss so you're putting out there that you're you're okay with it but to be honest with you deep down inside I think you're sad I think you're sad over your own actions here and I feel like you're upset over other people's actions too whoever you're having this conflict with I think you're really upset over them but I kind of feel like you're upset at, at yourself too but you're not showing anybody you're being that emperor you're being nice and strong and you're gonna show every. You're gonna show the world like you mean business and that you are. You're the leader. People should do it your way because you know best. Anyway, uh, Pisces. Despite all that, I do feel like there's a new beginning for you, and I do feel like it's gonna make you happy. It's exciting. It's a new adventure for you. So I think you are about to begin this new journey or you've started this new journey and it, it is going to bring a new adventure and new, new excitement. But let's see. Let's see what else we get here. There's that emperor. Yep. Like, I am going to do whatever it takes to be successful just so I can prove everybody that I was right. <laughs> it's like that stubbornness a little bit here. But that's okay. That's okay because you're doing what, what you feel is right for you. I'm, not, you know, I'm not upset over it. I just, uh, I just know deep down inside that something's still bothering you. I can feel it. I can feel it. You know, I don't know. Let's, um, you got the char chariot. That's a success. That's a victory. So you stepping into your emperor energy, getting things done and doing it your way is going to pay off for you. It is going to pay off for you. But I also feel like you're not going to be sure of it. You're going to be, you're going to second guess yourself. You're going to be like, oh. 
<sighs> do I continue to do this or do I go and do something else? Do I put my energy elsewhere? Is this really paying off for me? Am I making the right choice? Am I making the right decision? What I feel, Pisces, is the good news is, is you have options. You're not stuck in a certain situation. Your hands are not tied. You do have options. So you have to choose what's best for you. But I am feeling a little bit of a worry here. A little bit of worry, a little bit of sadness. But Pisces, I feel like things always work out for you. I feel like you're that type of person. I feel like it always works out for you. So you're going to be fine. You're just going to be fine. You know, you might not be happy with something, but but you're gonna everything's gonna work out. And I don't mean you're not gonna be happy. I, I shouldn't say that. I feel like something's still gonna bother you. That's what I'm. I, I feel like you're not. I feel like the whatever's bothering you or whatever's gonna bother you is not gonna be. Um, you're not gonna have closure from it. Because I think you're too stubborn to get that closure. Or you think you think you're better off not not having it. I'll show the world I can I can not have closure, I'll be fine. And if that's true, that's great. That that's great. That's you don't always get closure, so it's it's a good thing to have that attitude. But I don't know. They want you to be disciplined about something. So I think they want you to make up your mind to choose what you're going to do, be disciplined and go after it. Because I feel like you're going to be successful, Pisces. I do. I don't want you to doubt yourself because I think you're pretty amazing. Indulge your creative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression. So Pisces, you are unique. You know this. Most Pisces are very unique individuals. Um, so they want you to express that. They want you to embrace that. They want you to show the world who you are and in some capacity. So go ahead. Be creative. Be unique. I think it'll help you. I think it'll give you some, maybe a little bit of recognition or a little bit of satisfaction to having created something. Um, I think it's something that you need at this time with what, because I feel like you're going through something. I don't know what it is, but I think you're going through something. So go ahead. Being creative always helps in any situation. I know it helps me when I, um, you know, get a little down. If I go and create something with my hands, if I make something, it's very satisfying. And I can lose myself in that. Like, I can lose myself in that creativity. So I get my mind off of things. So I'm focused on what I'm creating. And then once it comes to fruition, it's like, oh, look what I made. This is, this is great. And then you're proud of yourself. So creating does raise your vibration. Magnanimous me. Well, there's that emperor energy. Let's see, we'll see what it says here. This is the time for your true nature to bloom like a crocus in the spring. You are nothing but a big ball of love. And the only thing you are re really want is to love up on everyone. Really? This is a good time to get in touch with that higher truth and to free your generous spirit. Kindness, anyone? All right. So what they're saying is, Pisces, you want to love and you want to be loved. Yes, I totally feel that from you. Because you do have a big, huge heart. And you are um, a beautiful soul. A unique, beautiful soul. But you are a beautiful soul. Um, so maybe we need to step out of that emperor energy a little bit maybe we need to dial it back still be the leader because that is your true nature but dial it back a little bit and be kind to people see things from their perspective maybe even let them have their way every once in a while or maybe at least not hold grudges 
okay? Let's be kind. Because I think, you, you know, you always get more flies with sugar than you do with honey than you do with a, you know, something bitter. So, be sweet. I think that's what that's saying. Be sweet and you will see an outpouring of love because you are amazing and people will recognize that or they do recognize that. Um, so, I don't know. That's all I'm getting, so... You, you've attracted wonderful news. Well, that's, that's really great. So you got some good news coming in for you. There, there is a page here. So the page could be bringing you, uh, uh news of a, uh, an amazing opportunity or news that'll make you happy or excited. You are good enough. See, there's that deep down worry, right? Popping its head up, surfacing. You are good enough. You are. You just need to be kind and a little less stubborn sometimes. <laughs> just sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes. Children are affecting your love life. Well, I don't know if you're worried about your kids or your kids live with you or the kids are, you know, you can't leave your kids. You, I, I don't know. Kids are affecting your love life in some way, shape, or form. It could be that you don't have any and you really want them. So you can't be with the person you want to be with because you want to be with somebody younger so who, they could give you kids. I don't know why that just came out, but it did. Um, I, it could mean so many different things, but there's an element that's your love life is being affected by kids somehow some way could be yours could be somebody else's take precautions if you don't want to get pregnant just saying imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so let's let go of the negative Let's be positive. Let's surround ourselves with positive people. And let's be kind. Okay? Let go of the negative. What crystal should you be using at this time? Or what crystal wants to help you at this time, I should say? Now you've got opal. Hold this to the light to see its brilliance. Imagine rainbow opportunities. I can do it. It is possible. So opal gives you faith. It gives you um, confidence, right? You can do it. You can do it. You can set your mind to anything you want and you can have it. So believe in that. Have faith in that. And uh, get some opal and it will open you up to possibilities, to new possibilities. Let's get you some charms. Pisces, you got my seashell. And sometimes that represents knowledge, but today it represents the beach. I don't know why, but I think that they want you to go to the beach. If you can, if that's a possibility where you're at, I think they want you to, there's something, you know, nature's very calming. So the ocean is very calming, but there's something about the beach for some reason. They want you to see the beach. I don't know, but that's what I did get. But sometimes that shell does represent knowledge. So knowledge is power. You got the hot air balloon. So they want you to see the bigger picture. Stop focusing on the little things. Don't be so nitpicky. See the bigger picture. See, see what, you know, the greater good. A transformation is happening to you, for you, around you by change. There's a change. Something is changing in your life. But don't worry. You got some chocolate coming in. Something sweet. Something delicious. <laughs> you got something chocolate here. You also got my gingerbread man. 
And for me, the gingerbread man, it's going to be crazy, but I used to have this book when I was a child, and it was about the gingerbread man. I don't know. On gingerbread lean. Um, but part of it was run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. It's the only saying in the book that I remember. The only page in the book. Um, I feel like that's you, Pisces. I feel like you're in the emperor energy and it's like nobody can catch you. Nobody can touch you. You are in a class by yourself. Like you have that emperor energy and you're accomplishing things. You're getting things done and you're about to take a new journey. So I think this new journey is going to be really great for you and I think it's going to be very successful. All right, Pisces, what I'm going to do is going to get you a yes or no question. So if you do not have a question in mind, pause the video and we'll get an answer for you. All right, here I go. Does Pisces, is Pisces answer yes or no to their question? Right away, right away, it's a yes. You got a big fat yes, Pisces. So um, I hope that's the answer you were looking for. All right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things will help me, and I appreciate you for it. And until next time, love and light.